Cheers. Cheers and thank you. Thank you. For what? For allowing me into your home. I haven't cleaned it up a little bit. See, yeah. normally it looks like Beirut up in here, but <laughs> it's, uh, it's not too bad. What's been your biggest stuff up on oh. air? Um, <laughs> we, we have an industry um, awards night once a year called the ACRIS, the mm -hmm. Australian Commercial Radio Awards. And it's kind of like, um, like the it's, Logies, it's the for, Logies radio. for radio. Mm. Many, many years ago now, um, Guy Sebastian was hired to perform at the Commercial Radio Awards. Mm -hmm. And he did a great job. He was, uh, he's a great performer. And when he'd finished, he was still on stage and he tried, and tried is the operative word, to thank the people in the room, mm -hmm. the radio industry, for helping him be successful. Yes. And he was lovely. But radio people being the radio egotistical, self-centered jerks that they can often be, especially higher up the, the chain, if you will, um, a good 90 to 95% of the room completely ignored him and because they were too busy nattering amongst themselves and telling stories about all the famous people they know and blah, blah, blah. And I, along with about seven or eight other people in the room, made a concerted effort to really listen to what Guy was saying because he was being so lovely and genuinely mm. thanking us mm. for helping to kickstart his career, which I guess in a sense we did. Yeah. Um, made sure I clapped him at the end and about a month later, we ended up interviewing Guy Sebastian mm. on the radio. Um, and the beautiful part about this story is it was a pre-recorded interview. We, we spoke to him mm -hmm. early, you know, after we got off air and we yeah. played it back the next day on air. As a part of the interview, I apologized to Guy Sebastian mm -hmm. on behalf of the radio industry for how horrible and rude we all were at the awards ceremony mm -hmm. when he tried to thank us. And he sort of laughed politely and said, oh, I don't even worry about it. I was like, no, dude, no, mm -hmm. it's not good enough. You yeah. know, you, you played some great songs for us. You were trying to thank us and 90% and of us ignored you. Mm -hmm. And we were all busy talking amongst ourselves because that's the kind of rude pricks we can be. <laughs> Next time we go to the commercial radio awards and yeah. someone like you wants to say some words, I'm gonna have a, a switch installed in the room right. that turns on what I call the sit the fuck down, shut the fuck up light. Uh -huh. And when we turn it on, that's what everyone has to do. Yes. And they have to pay attention to you. I love and this light. We had a great laugh mm. about it and we moved on. My intention was, mm. of course, to bleep the two F-bombs out right. when I edited the interview up to put it to air. Right. As it was going to air the next morning, I'm sitting there drinking my coffee, chatting mm. away with Scotty while it plays. And he looked up at me at one point and he said, hey, dude, uh -oh. did you, um, do you bleep out the two? Huh? And I went, oh, no. Like, and I just had this moment of self-doubt. And then I'm like, oh, hang on. No, 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 I totally didn't. I, I Oh, wow. Okay, okay. And he's like, don't panic, don't panic. We know where it is. Mm. Like, we know when you're about to say it. And I'm like, oh, cool, cool, cool. I'm like, shh, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. I, so I'm sitting there with the, there's the three faders on the desk that are up yeah. um, at the time for all the different audio sources. And I've got my finger above the one where Guy Sebastian's talking to us, mm -hmm. ready to stab that button. Yeah. And just, it wasn't ideal, no. but I'd rather have it cut out for five seconds yeah. than have two F-bombs go to air. Yeah. So I'm there with my finger above the button. As, it, as that bit in, in the sentence comes up, I stab the button, but I stab the wrong button, and I end up turning off the background music that's playing behind the interview, Excellent. which serves only to further highlight <laughs> The fact that I've said fuck twice in one <laughs> sentence and the whole thing just went boom straight to air. Excellent. Mm.